Welcome back. Here's a disturbing and a big question. Did you see what Georgia voters were put through when they showed up to vote yesterday? Some people complained of waiting in lines for hours to cast ballots. We went through a similar pro a problem last week right here in the districts. Now, I got some answers as to what's going on in Georgia from Kim Whaley. She's legal analyst for CBS News and author of a new book entitled, ironically, What You Need to Know About Voting and Why. What happened in Georgia yesterday? Well, in Georgia yesterday, there were long lines, broken machines or machines that the poll workers didn't know how to use because they were new. Uh, and I think it just sheds a light on how our electoral process is a patchwork. It's a hodgepodge. It's state by state, county by county, precinct by precinct. And with COVID, there are fewer people willing to volunteer essentially to go to these places and be trained to manage this equipment in a way that is sufficient for the numbers of people that are coming in to vote. Yeah, and they, they sent out tons of absentee ballots, right? Because they wanted people to mail in their vote. They were trying to prevent exactly what happened, which was fewer polling places and tons of people showing up to cast their ballots, right? Right, and even, I mean, I have uh, covered this in the book and I have an updated uh, PDF on my website. Not every state allows universal absentee ballot. So there's actually 27 lawsuits in 27 states across the country challenging or having questions about absentee. But even if you choose to vote absentee, which everyone should do, uh, Maryland, Virginia, and DC right now have opened, it made it easier due to COVID. Even if that's the case, the United States Postal Service sometimes loses things, sometimes takes time. So if you, if you don't get your ballot in time, you need to go to the polls. And if there are machines that aren't working and fewer poll workers, that just means really, really long lines. This scares me in terms of what we might expect in November. Oh, absolutely. It is very scary um, because there, you know, the last time the federal government funded, gave a lot of money to states for voting machines was 2002. So this equipment is really old. Um, and of course, we have, we could have a second wave of COVID in the fall, uh, fewer polling places, fewer polling workers. Uh, so I, you know, I think, I think it does, it is a kind of a scary prospect. This is probably the most important presidential election in the history of potentially the United States, frankly, because it will decide what kind of government we will have going forward. They need to fix this. The state of Georgia has launched an investigation into what caused the long lines. There's also a look into what caused the long lines in the district. Also, thus far, nobody has promised there won't be a repeat in November.